people, I wanted to do a quick video on my coin shooting program that I use. It's kind of a trashy park program. Uh, it's designed to just let in nickels, very tight range on nickels, and um, Indian head pennies and above. So let's go straight over to accept reject. I want to start there first. <laughs> out everything up to 13 here. Um, the reason why I only let in 13, in my experience, after about 100 hours, my uh, my nickel to old beaver tail ratio is, is half and half, and uh, I'm okay with that. Uh, if I go any higher, if I let in 14, 15, I, a lot of the more modern uh, pull tabs come and uh, it's just not my kind of hunting. I um, spend too much time, I find, uh, on junk when I'm doing that. But again, personal preference, you can open up uh, 12 and 14 if you want, up to you. out up to 19 which uh, there are times if I know there are no older Indian heads I'll probably notch it up to 2021 20, uh, to avoid some of the junk that does come in under 19 but for the most part this is a pretty um, a pretty quiet program now that's it as far as um, what I'm notching out let's move on swing speed six um, I'm doing some messing around in the future I'll post my finds I suspect four is is better. I know it's better as far as depth and giving a smoother signal on on deeper targets. What I haven't concluded yet is how it unmasks uh, better in six versus four. But uh, right now I'm, I'm running at six. Um, iron volume. I generally leave that at zero in parks. Uh, my my thinking is parks are, are hunted hunted out pretty hard. A lot of the clear signals are gone, and again, after 100 hours of use, I've determined that uh, I can get, I can eke out some targets with zero iron buyers that uh, I've determined that two will miss. So I do leave it at zero. Ground balance, of course, uh, that's important. Although it's not set up here, um, I leave my machine on on auto. Auto ground balance, uh, although factory says leave it at zero, um, I see no harm in letting it automatically ground balance itself as you move along because how do you ever really know if you're coming on uh, mineralized ground as, as you're moving around uh, through a park or something? Um, you don't know when more soil has been brought in. Uh, so I, I really see no harm in that, but up to you. Volume of course, personal preference. Uh, threshold, I think it's very important to run a higher threshold, whatever your ears are comfortable with. Mine's usually seven or eight, and the reason the reason for this is uh, you, you want to be able to hear all of the, all the iron and junk that the machine is discriminating. Uh, the more you hear it knowing out on targets, the more that alert you to the fact that you should be slowing down out there. Um, if you don't slow down out there, especially again in hard hit areas like parks, uh, you're going to be missing a lot of stuff. Um, that's left in the ground. Um, so if you hear a lot of nulling, slow it down. Uh, and on the opposite end of that, if you don't hear a lot of nulling, it means you're in clean ground and you can speed up your swing and cover more ground. Tones, I like five. And as far as the advanced settings go, uh, I don't see any reason to really be messing with those on this program. So again, thanks for watching and um, if anyone wants to see anything out there, or any kind of tests, uh, let me know in the comment section and I'll see if I can uh, get around to doing that. Again, thanks for watching and please subscribe.